Hey Trackies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Well, the withdrawals continue as double or back-to-back -back world champion over the 200 meters, Sharika Jackson withdraws from her pet event, the 200 meters at the Miramar Invitational. Now, this comes on the heels of Shakira Richardson announcing her withdrawal from the meet. Now, Sharika Jackson also withdraws from the prestigious event. Now, this is a development meet that stars tend to turn up to to test their metal early season however it seems as though a few other stars have decided not to line up at this event now sharika jackson took to her social media and this is what she said never quit unfortunately sharika and it, i'm assuming that this was done by or written by a member of her team no they say unfortunately sharika won't be competing at the miramar invitational this saturday we'll definitely keep y'all updated whenever the season opener is scheduled then she goes hashtag olympic year hashtag we believe hashtag positive mindset hashtag faith over fear hashtag moving faith hashtag trust the process and hashtag team jacko so that's pretty much what she had to say as it relates to her pulling out of this event now my thought process as it relates to sharika withdrawn well it was the same one i had earlier on in the season actually when she was scheduled to open up over a few 60s and she withdrew looking at the field no stars have opened their season just yet and sharika jackson to be the one to come out and you know lay her cards bare for everyone to see is definitely not a smart move so i thought that look here based on what i'm seeing going on no one opened up looking at a shelly a elaine a shakiri none of the big big um athletes really opened up so it was very wise in my opinion for sharika jackson to withdraw now that we are you know on to the outdoor season still we're seeing some hesitation from a few of the stars to open up and sharika's like all right bet y'all not opening up i'm not opening up either i'll still do what i have to do in training i know i'm getting the work done the times i'm putting down are impressive and when i do open my season i know everything is going to go according to plan so yeah that's my thought process as you relate to sharika with john she's just following suit no need to again lay her cards bare while no one absolutely no one and i mean medal contenders over that 100 meters have done anything just yet we pretty much know where sharika stands over the 200 meters i don't believe there's any question there as it relates to her calendar but you still don't want the rest of the world to you know peep certain signs or early signs of anything you know that's going on there even if it's more impressive we want to surprise them we want to come out and smack them over the head with it you know what i mean so that said it is what it is we continue to move until these you know mega stars open up their season now on to the men's 100 meters though that will be coming up at the miramar invitational we have quite a few jamaican men that also take to the track i'm talking about the likes of an akeem blake a johan blake i'm talking about michael campbell andre ewers right and i'm also looking at the man that i'm looking out to see all season kishane thompson and then also in the field is rohan watson so those are the jamaicans that take to the field and i'm pretty pretty excited for this 100 meters i know akeem blake is on a high right now his first individual medal globally we're talking about world championship level and he walks out with a bronze in the 60 meters so we're looking to see him build on that clearly when we think about an akeem blake we want to see how he executes his last phase of the race he also ran a 200 meter personal best earlier on this season as well so akeem blake is definitely looking good this season and i'm excited to see what he does here now johan blake we know that this is the man that is the second fastest ever over both the 100 meters and the 200 meters 10.69 and 19.26 unfortunately injury struck and you know curtailed his career a bit let's see what he has to give this season as well see that he's training hard online so let's see what he comes out with michael campbell is another one you know had some setbacks there based on a car accident he has been slowly but surely coming back and i'm excited for him andrew Ewers, interestingly, haven't seen him for a bit. I'm glad seeing him here. Love when these athletes do not give up and you know keep at it. Eventually, I'm sure they'll get some results that you know they can be happy with with their track career. Now, there's also Rohan Watson. He also earlier ran a personal best in the 200 meters. So again, he is one that I'm looking out for in this 100 meters as well. And as I said, he runs tall, which impresses me based on how short he looks, unfortunately, on screen. So that said, I'm looking out for Rohan Watson and Kishane. 
he's definitely the man of the hour right now. There are a lot of question marks over his head. What can he deliver? Will he be able to deliver? And yeah, I feel like this meet is definitely a meet for him to answer a few of those questions. Now, you know me when it comes to Kishane Thompson. I've been excited the moment he got, you know, to this stage. I was like, who is this dude? Where did he come from? You know, did my research. Saw that he was, you know, on the circuit. Well, not on the circuit, child. <laughs> In Jamaica, doing a few races here and there, you know, the year before. Nothing to really write home about, but he really came to four in 2023 did that one-off race at the trials then dropped a fantastic 9.85 seconds to round out his season as the fastest jamaican and of course go head to head with the likes of christian coleman and come out really well in that type of field so with that said kishane thompson is definitely the man that i'm looking for this season to really go above and beyond you know i did my video comparing him to how asafa powell started versus how kishane started and i kind of cross-referenced you know age versus performances and of course course the work that was put in and thinking that hey this could be a year that Stephen Francis comes out and really shocks the world with Kishane Thompson so I know this is the first race of the season he hasn't done anything you know 60 meter range from the indoor season so this is his first race whilst I'm not really expecting anything ridiculous and out there I'm definitely expecting him to show his class in this race and show that he'll be definitely a part of the conversation not only from a Jamaican perspective but definitely from a global perspective as well I expect him to come out and show that yeah i am going to be here and rep for not only a spot as i said on the jamaican team but also a medal at the paris olympic games that's my opinion when i think about kishane thompson so yeah i'm excited to see this race go down i have no thoughts right now as it relates to actual you know times you know that will be dropped i know this will be a good one i know this will be a fast one i'm expecting blake to be in the top i'm expecting kishane thompson to also be in the top so you know those are potential my top two picks when I think about you know performances in this race and I'm excited to see how it will actually go down when I take a look at this field I am not seeing any American that I believe will be able to challenge Jackie Shane Thompson or a Akeem Blake when I think about it again the likes that will be able to challenge him are the Noah Lyles's of course the Christian Coleman's or Fred Curley's I believe that that's the conversation our Jamaican men are in and not any other conversation that will be happening so with that said I expect them to be ahead of everybody else in that field what the times will be <laughs> i'm not really sure because again we haven't really seen you know kishan thompson step out this season but i do know akeem is ripe and ready to do something fast and if kishan thompson plans on challenging him then he himself has to be ready to do something fast as well not only him rohan watson as well rohan watson has been looking good as i said he ran a personal best so i'm expecting to see him up there in the conversation as well and i expect johan blake to also be figuring actually I think the same thing when I think about um, this 100 meter field heading to a finals, the same way I thought about the women. Um, this finals will be mainly dominated by Jamaicans, my assumption when I look at the field. So, Chakis, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So, we have Kishane Thompson finally stepping up. Will he be able to answer our questions? Will he be able to show that, yes, indeed, he will be a challenger for 2024? And not only just a challenger being part of the top, you know, four maybe, but definitely a medal contender when we get to Paris. Do you think that's a possibility? Anyway, track is like the video, of course, and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.